Hey guys, um, Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Um, Cowboy, we, we can't catch a break. We can't catch a, cow, uh, a, a COVID break to save our lives. You can see Michael over here. Look at those doors. Aren't those doors pretty? Hey, that's American made right there. Handcrafted out of these hands. But anyway, I digress. We literally get a guy back from COVID and then immediately lose another one. Ken O'Neill. Ken O'Neill, who's been playing lights the F out on the backside linebacking position. I'm wondering if the Dallas Cowboys have considered doing something that's maybe unethical, maybe slightly illegal, but maybe they should consider cloning Micah Parsons. Think about it. Could you imagine if we had two of those guys there? He can take care of the defensive line. He can take back the linebacker court. He could do it all. Jerry, you got enough money and enough pull that you could probably get that pulled off. I don't know how long it takes to grow on Micah Parsons, but damn, we need another one right there. But all, all jokes aside here, all jokes aside, we're not talking about the Giants today. All jokes aside. We've had more people go out on COVID this year than we had all of last year. This, this is just crazy. Now, I don't know what they're doing that's getting passed because it's been offensive line, it's been linebackers, it's been, you know, I mean, it's just kind of like, you know, little clusters here and there. The team has to figure out and say, listen, guys, this could be a special year. This year could be something really, really good. We didn't went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Super Bowl champions. We went on the road. We went on the road to San Diego. Oh, God, there we go with San Diego. With, with Los Angeles, and we beat them in Los Angeles. But we got to beat COVID. We got to beat COVID. We can't keep losing guys every week. Now, look, we got the next three games. After starting the first two games on the road, we got the next couple of games you know, at home. Actually, the next three games at home. This is when we're supposed to feast with that home cooking and get advantage and get a leg up on people. All of them, this is the rough part of their schedule. If we're not a couple of games up on people, you know, by, by week five, we got some real issues. Now, I'm not going to blame anybody because anybody can get COVID these days. But you've got to make sure that you're not in a position that, you know, you're risking any more than you have to. You know, this it's not good. I guess at least the way you look at it is at least maybe with uh, Zach Martin and with uh, Randy Gregory that it's only been one game that they missed. So I guess in some instance you could say it's a bye week for them. But I, I don't want no bye weeks. I need my guys out there. I need all hands on deck. And you know Philly 500, he's gonna be doing a uh, he's gonna be doing a dance now. Oh, they lost it. Oh, Jalen Hurst is gonna be running all over. Yeah, that's what he's gonna do. That's what he's gonna do. I know he's gonna do that. Let's cross our fingers that this is the only person that we lose this week. I'm so disappointed. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna keep this short so make sure it can get uploaded because it'll take forever up here. But you know what? We doing that thing. See ya.